just finished organizing my physical workspace, as I realized I should after recognizing the value of Jordan Peterson's sixth rule from Rules of Life. Set your house in order before you criticize the world. When I was done, it was awesome. I truly felt like I have more order in my life. But then I looked at the computer screen that was cluttered full of files and documents and I felt overwhelmed. For most of us, we spend most of our time through the digital workspace, right? This is where we make a living, do our hobbies. If you spend so much time on there, it should at least feel like it's in order so you can actually take on more challenges because it can take it. That workspace can actually take it. If you can save minutes in a day, hours in a week, and days in a year just by knowing where everything is and having it organized instead of having to look through here and here and here and you can spend more time on doing what you find meaning if you have that system if you have everything organized right so that's why it's worth it and what i'm about to share this applies to both apple windows all kinds of users because i'm talking about principle i want you to think about this whole process as creating a system that is both flexible and expandable so you, you create it and then you can always expand according to your interests that change over time, data that you're putting in. Think about organizing your digital files as having multiple trunks. You have a trunk that has branches going out from it. Each of those branches is dividing into more branches. So it's like a family tree. All those branches are related to one another and they all eventually come back to the source, the trunk. And when it comes to choosing your trunks, your core files, it really depends on your workflow. If you're working, then you're gonna want to open one folder and that opens all the things that you need to do that specific work. If your work is divided in like specific phases, so let's say you're a designer, so when it's like contacting customers, you open that file and that opens up all those things related to that. And then you're gonna have to design as well, right? So you go up to the design folder and you have all those things that you need in there and then you can just close that and move on, you know? So if you want to be really simple, you can just open the screen up. There's personal life, professional life, right? Your personal life, that's everything, that's you. That's you after outside work. When you're working, you open up professional life, right? That's a tree, each one is a tree. You just continue growing them that way. It's a system that you can just branch out in those subcategories you probably want to name those files in a logical way so when you open them like once a year it just makes sense for example you have everything by years or even by date or maybe they're by specific categories so you're pretty much ready to go and organize and create your system so remember first create the system where you can organize and then add everything to it right do it in this order because then if you don't do <laughs> system first you're gonna get lost so you're gonna have to move this from here and this from here and then okay you know what actually this makes more sense and so please just figure out the system first and then add data to it it's gonna be a lot of less headache if you want to take your system to the next level I'm gonna share some advanced tips to really make your system robust and pretty for everything that you throw at it we need backup this is probably the most cliche thing you're hearing, but it's really that important. Like if there's files that you cannot lose, you need to back them up. So for example, for cloud solutions, you can use like free apps like OneDrive for some gigabytes of space. But if you want some more secure options, you can use like Backblaze. But if you have a lot of files that you need to save, then probably getting a lot of storage on a cloud is going to be pretty expensive so you might need to use some external storage the best solutions for physical storage is going to be the ssd because it has a really fast writing and reading speed so that just basically means you can transfer files back and forth really fast and that's really useful but if you have a lot of data you need to store then you're going to need to opt out for the regular hard drives and these can be files that you don't really often use it's just for archiving basically and you might even want multiple hard drives so if one fails you also have the other one which has also the copy because that can also happen they can also maybe get destroyed maybe something might happen to them no worries you have the other one as well number two use custom icons for folders this is going to help you easily differentiate which folders are essential from the ones that you see so maybe something has a star you're gonna probably use that daily or maybe something's really important you can easily find it that way. On the Mac, it's also pretty easy. You even have more customization options than Windows does. So on the Windows, what you do is you choose a folder you want to change the icon. You choose the properties, which is at the bottom over here. You choose customize and boom, there's the change icon option. 
and you can choose like the star which is right over here <laughs> and now it just it's easy to differentiate right number three create a quick navigation guide for yourself so if you do this annually when you have to deploy files all over the system you know the system that you created and you find out like a fast way to do it but you don't want to forget it so you can write like really simple steps you know just a few words sentences something like that and then it explains like how you import files or export files in a quick and overseeable way okay so i'll try to visualize the system that i'm using over here so let's say i have this is like a computer screen over here so this is where i have the file the folder that i want to export from and here i have two different files like these quadrants over here and let's say I, I know that most of the content that I have over here will go either in this folder or this folder. So that's how I choose these two folders, right? And then over here, this is like miscellaneous, you know, I can choose whatever, like open the web, anything I need, and these files will always be opened. So I can sort through these files and if something changes, like, oh, this is weird, why is this here? I just put it and this window over here. <laughs> I hope it made any sense. But yeah, this is the way I use it. You can find your way when you're creating the system. So this was actually a pretty big game changer for me because before I was just, okay, so this is a file. It belongs both here and here. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it in both of those places, but it takes up a lot of space, especially if it's a big file, right? But what you can do is you can take like this file that exists over here that's like supposed to be there the most and you create a shortcut and put it in other files that you need and then you can just you know it will lead to that place anyways and that can save a lot of space if you have multiple folders that don't really have a lot of files in them and they're like in the same category then maybe consider combining them because that will give you like a better overview and also remember to name that combined file in a way that it elaborates that okay so this is that and that file Put it together so you don't have any confusion after that it's all about creating the system that's easy to use you know what let's actually try it right now let's see how it feels to have everything decluttered so i want you to go on your desktop right now so for example lines over here right so what you do is you take like a folder you create the, you take all the apps that you're using or you don't use and then you put them in that folder just look how decluttered everything looks right just drag them into there. And maybe that will motivate you, inspire you to create like the system. So every time you open your laptop or your PC, whatever, it's just clean, you know, there's nothing there. <laughs> maybe there should be something there, but everything's organized, you know? All right, and what you need to keep in mind is that it will probably take way longer than you think. Like I thought it was gonna take me like eight, nine hours. It took me like 30, 40 hours to do. And also after you're done, you're gonna have to readjust over time. Like something's not working. So you have to put in that and you're, there's gonna be some minor adjustments, but trust me, it will be worth it. Like it feels awesome. It, take, it feels like a lot of pressure, a lot of like things that you've been setting off at some point. It's, it's done, you know, you did it. Like you, you have a workspace that you can fully work with and now your only limitation is to do what you like because everything else is clean and organized. I actually found like this how to archive data YouTube channel, which is really good. And this, this video I call it the world's best file naming system. So if you're taking it very more seriously than this, then this is a good baseline. You probably need more sophistication on it. You need more principles. Some of these principles are also inspired by the Thomas Franks video, the best way to organize your computer files, which is also a really good one if you want to check it out as well. I am Dave Sun. And if you're new to the channel, I explore personal development methods and try to give you really concrete ways that you can apply them in your life and make your life better. And I have a lot to share. So if you're interested, consider subscribing and sticking around because the best is yet to come.